All right, so 5 o'clock is finally here. It is Thursday, April 20th, and the NFL schedule has finally been released. So we're going to go through uh, the Seahawks schedule like I do every year, and we're going to do a little bit of analysis on it, what I think our record's going to be, the games that I think we're going to lose and win, and uh, talk about primetime games and all that stuff. So we're not even going to talk about the preseason. We're just going to talk about the regular season. And, uh, boy, it's a good one. Now, um, this is... I'm really excited for this year. I, I think this is really great, and I cannot wait for the draft because I really do think the Seahawks are going to make a really cool and a really great push this year. So to kick off the season, we uh, we are playing Green Bay in Green Bay. So the last two times that we played Green Bay, we've played them in uh, in Green Bay, and it hasn't necessarily gone our way either. The times, especially last year, last year uh, the Seahawks got blown out, to say the very least, in Green Bay. And uh, in 2015, we also lost there as well. So hopefully this year we're able to win that. But that's really cool. I mean, they're a uh, they're a conference rival. They're also going to be really great this season. They start the Green Bay start off kind of slow last season, but I mean, once Aaron Rodgers uh, finally got his foot um, and finally got back on track, uh, the the Packers were amazing last season. So uh, that's going to be a good game. Uh, week two, we played the 49ers in Seattle. So that's our home opener. Is uh, week two, uh, September 17th, and. Uh, Listen, so, you know, San Francisco's got a new head coach uh, and everything. Uh, I really hope that San Francisco can really start rebuilding their team fast because I really want the Seahawks and 49ers rivalry back. I mean, whenever we play the Rams and whenever we play the Cardinals, it's just not the same. So I hope that the uh, 49ers are better, but that's going to be a great game. It's always cool to play uh, division opponents. Week three, we are going to uh, Tennessee to play the Titans. So, I mean, this year the AFC division that we play is we do play the AFC South. So we go to Tennessee to play the Titans week three. Week four, we come back to Seattle to play the Colts, and that is a Sunday night football game. That is our first out of uh, four. We have four primetime games this year, and that is our first out of the four is uh, week four against Indianapolis. Uh, after that, our game five, we go uh, to Los Angeles to play the Rams, which I might go to that game. I might not. I have no idea. Um, I think that would be really cool to watch uh, the Seahawks play in Los Angeles. Uh, the Rams, uh, a lot of the times, uh, unfortunately, they seem to have the Seahawks number. Um, that was under Jeff Fisher, though, so let's see how they are now. Um, I, I think that's going to be a great game. An another, uh, another divisional opponent, obviously. Uh, week six is our bye week this year. So after we play, um, after we play the Rams, we uh, actually have a bye week. Uh, last week, I mean, not last week, last year, our bye week was week five. So, um, I, I, I usually like having the bye weeks later in the season. Like the year that we won the Super Bowl, our bye week was week 11, I believe, or no, like week 12 or something like that. It's so, like week 12 was our bye week. And I mean, I love having bye weeks later in the season because I think it's just better. And especially when football just starts right back up to, you know, watch five games and then all of a sudden, oh, your team's not playing this week. You know, it, it kind of sucks. You know, you go all this time without football. And then as soon as it starts back up after five regular season games, you don't have a game the upcoming week. So uh, that's all right. Week six is our bye. After our bye week, we go to New York to play the New York Giants, who, um, listen, they, they were pretty good last season. And if it wasn't for a lot of those drop passes and stuff uh, against Green Bay, um, who knows, they might have been able to advance a little bit farther in the playoffs last year. Um, after we play the Giants, we come back to Seattle to play the uh, Houston Texans. Last time we played the Texans in Houston, Matt Schaub was still their quarterback. Uh, that's when Matt Schaub was doing, I think he had like five games in a row where he threw like a pick six or whatever that uh, in 2013. That was the last time we played them. Uh, after we play uh, Houston and Seattle, the next week after we uh, play Washington also in Seattle, Kirk Cousins resigned, and a lot of people are talking about whether Kirk Cousins is going to get traded or not. Kirk Cousins actually put out a statement either it was yesterday or today saying that he loves where he is right now and he doesn't want to go to the 49ers or any other team. So that's going to be a great game as well. I think the Redskins are going up there. A lot of people think that the Redskins are just kind of average. I think the Redskins are, are getting better. They did lose to Sean Jackson, unfortunately for them, but I do think they're a still a playoff team. After we play the Redskins, we go to Arizona to play the Cardinals, and that is another primetime game. This time it's uh, Thursday night football, so we only have uh, we only have four days between the uh, Washington Redskins game and the Arizona game. That's going to be tough because, like I said, the Redskins are like a playoff team. They're going to play us hard, and then four days later we're going to play the Cardinals, and the Cardinals, uh, much like the Rams the last few years, uh, play us tough every time as well. I mean, we, we tied with them this past season, and then we lost them, so we didn't even beat them at all this last season. Um, and then after we play the Cardinals in Arizona, we come back to Seattle to face the Atlanta Falcons, who we, all, we obviously lost to in the playoffs last year. And uh, that is a Monday night football game. So that's two primetime games in a row. 
Um, that but we have there's like an 11 day off session obviously because you have the Thursday night football and there's 11 days between that Thursday night football and then when we play the Falcons on Monday night football that's going to be a great game I mean the Falcons I expect the Falcons to be really good this year I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're gonna pull a Carolina and go to the Super Bowl and then just fall off a cliff I don't think that's gonna happen I think the Falcons are gonna be really motivated uh, this upcoming season and they're a team to watch out for um, after we play the Falcons we go to San Francisco to play the uh, 49ers for our last time the, for our second meeting with them. And then after we do that, we come back to Seattle to face the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, that is our last primetime game. That is a Sunday night football game, and that is uh, in Seattle. So that's really cool. So let me just make sure I have this right. So out of three out of four of our primetime games are in Seattle. So that's really cool. Uh, we have that Sunday night. We have two Sunday night footballs, a Monday night football, and a Thursday night football. After we play the Eagles in Seattle, we go to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars, who I know I said this last season, and I feel like a lot of people have been saying this for a few years with the Jaguars. Everybody's been expecting them to make that next big step. When Tom Coughlin as the uh, next president now and Doug Marone as the head coach, I really do think that uh, the Jaguars will be improved this season. I'm not saying that they're going to make be a playoff team necessarily, but I think Blake Bortles had a really good second year in the league, and he fell off last year in his third year, but I think I think Blake Bortles will be back. I think the interceptions will be down, hopefully, and I think the Jaguars will be able to take the next step. Uh, after we play uh, the Jaguars, we come back to Seattle to play the uh, the Rams with our, our second meeting against the Rams. And then we go to Dallas, which, which is going to be a good game. I kind of wish this was a primetime game. We're going to go to Dallas week 16 to play uh, the Cowboys. And um, as long as, I mean, I don't think Dak Prescott or Ezekiel Elliott are going to have a sophomore slump at all. I think uh, actually without Tony Romo being there, I think Dak Prescott's really going to be able to focus in and not have to worry about a quarterback looking over his shoulder. Uh, and then to end the season, we end the season at home uh, against the Arizona Cardinals uh, December 31st. So this, uh, last year, the season didn't end until uh, January. This year, it ends right before January, December 31st. So let's talk about so some of this. So as I mentioned, we have four primetime games. Um, and I'm so excited for the season. Hold on. I have to unlock my phone here real quick. Okay. So out of the, you know, I, I, like I said, the four primetime games, two of them Sunday night football, one Monday night football, and uh, one Thursday night football. Now... Here's the thing. Uh, week one against Green Bay going to be a great game. I can see us losing that game. I can also see us winning that game. I can see us being very, really, really motivated after losing. I think this. I think it was like 38 to 10. I think it was the final score this past season when we lost to the Packers. It was crazy. I can see us being motivated. I can see Green Bay taking that game too. Uh, our home opener against San Francisco. I, I personally see us winning that game. Uh, going to Tennessee. Tennessee was a surprise team last year. A lot of people, you know, and they were all, all kind of head coached to be fired uh the tennessee titans and then they just you know they they made a real real big push at the end of the season and i like marcus mariota i think he's going to be better this season him and uh uh james winston are both uh really phenomenal quarterbacks uh but th that's also going to be a tough game i can see us winning it though um when you face indianapolis uh, at home uh, russell wilson and andrew luck have only faced off once and it was in their second seasons we last time we faced them was our, our super bowl winning season 2013 and we faced them in Indiana, and when we played them then, we played them in Indianapolis, and the Colts won by a few points. This time we're playing them in Seattle. Uh, as, as far as, as long as Andrew Luck is healthy and everything, this is going to be a really great game to watch. Uh, and then when we play the Rams, the Giants, so all this stuff. If I had to, like, look at all this schedule here and, and pick the games that were I, – I think I think we'll split with Arizona. I think Arizona's going to win one, and I think we'll win with Arizona. And if I had to guess, I'm going to say that Arizona probably wins the one at their stadium and we win the last game of the season at our stadium. But who knows? I mean, because I think Arizona's going to ba bounce back this season. The very last game this year against Arizona, I mean, that could be for the division. So, I mean, even though it's in Seattle, I mean, depending on what the teams are playing for, whether it's a playoff spot or whether it's just the division in general, uh, it's, it's going to be a, a great game. Dallas is going to All right, Week 16, Dallas is going to be a tough game. A lot of people are talking about, oh, well, Dallas doesn't necessarily have the, uh, the best defense. Yeah, but, you know... They're going to get stronger in the draft. I really do. This is a, a there's a lot of corners in this draft in Dallas. And Dallas, I think, is going to get quite a bit of them, uh, or at least try to. Um, and also, I don't even buy that whole thing about the defense is not that good because the Seahawks have faced quite a bit of teams last rate, and the Seahawks still weren't really able to move the ball in offense, which is one thing I hope changes this year. Uh, if our offensive line can protect Russell Wilson, uh, give him a little bit more time to throw. If our running game gets back to the way it used to be when we had Marshawn Lynch, or at least near the same level, I think we'll be good as far as offensively goes. Um, and the Atlanta game, even though we're playing in Seattle, uh, that, that's a tough game too. If I had to give us, um, if I had to just say what games we're going to lose, I, I see us, um, yeah, I actually see us starting off 2-0. I see us being Green Bay. 
this might surprise some people. I, I actually see us losing against Tennessee week three. Uh, I, I see it going to uh, I see us starting off at two and zero, and then uh, losing our first game week three in Tennessee. I can see us being uh, the Indianapolis Colts. The Giants is going to be another tough one. I can see us losing that one. Uh, let me just look here for another few seconds here just to see. Uh, Washington's going to be tough. Houston, I mean, Houston, dude, Houston's defense is absolutely amazing. I mean, Houston's a quarterback away from being a Super Bowl team. They really are. Um, it's really too bad that Tony Romo didn't go to them. I was really pulling for Tony Romo to go for the Texans and not retire because I think that would have just, like, sealed the deal for the Texans. I mean, that's As long as Romo could have stayed healthy, at least. Um, man. Uh, record. Because I, I just I have – I'm so optimistic about this season. I just want to say, oh, we're going to go 14-2. Oh, we're going to go 13-3. I just, um, there's just a lot of great teams this season. And, uh, wow, um, Atlanta, Philadelphia. I mean, Philadelphia is going to be better, too. I, I really like Carson Wentz. Um, and Jared Goff, a lot of people are, like, talking crap about Jared Goff of the Rams. He didn't, I mean, I, he didn't play the best out of, I think he only played, like, or started five games last season. Even though he didn't play the best, people are already calling him a bust. I'm sorry, you can't label someone a bust after five games. You can't, right? He was five games into, his, like, his career. You can't label him a bust. Uh, there's a lot of football left for that young man to play. Um, okay. I see us losing. Mm. I can almost... Hmm. I'm actually gonna change from what I said we we're gonna start two and zero. I actually I think I'm I see us losing week one at Green Bay. I, I just do. I think it's gonna be a close game. Hopefully, hopefully it's not a blowout like the last time. I, I think it's gonna be a close game. Um, I, I see us winning against San Francisco. I see us winning against Tennessee. I see us barely getting past the Colts. I can see us winning against the Rams in LA. I see us losing to the Giants. So at that at that point, uh, we would be four and two. I can see us winning against. I can see us winning against Houston. We're playing at home. If we were if we were playing in Houston, I, I would probably ha say we lose that game. I can see us winning against Washington. I think we're going to lose against Arizona. Uh, so that's three losses right there. I think we beat Atlanta on Monday Night Football in Seattle. I think we do sweep the Niners this year. So I think we beat the Niners again there. I think we could beat the Eagles at Sunday Night Football at our stadium. I think we beat the Jaguars. The ah, man. And then. And I can and I can see us losing at Dallas and Dallas and I can honestly I can also see us losing against Tennessee. I know I said that I know I just said that when I recorrected myself. I see us winning against Tennessee. I can easily see a twelve and four or an eleven and five record. And I and a lot of that goes to I think I can see I can see us winning against Tennessee and I can also see us losing against Tennessee. I think Dallas is going to be a tough game where it's Christmas Eve in Dallas. It's going to be tough and depending on you know how good Dallas is this next season, how good we are, that can also be for uh, a number one or a number two seed spot right there on week sixteen. Um, I'm going to say 11 and five. And, uh, just to say where I have our losses coming from here, uh, green Bay, Tennessee, the giants and, uh, Dallas and Arizona and Arizona. But like I said, I, 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 um, I can easily see a 12 and four because I can see us winning against Tennessee. I can even see us winning in green Bay against green Bay, but I just think, I think the Packers are just going to take that game. We just, we don't have the best of luck when we're playing in green Bay. I mean, whenever the Packers come to Seattle, <laughs> it's, it's fun. But whenever, uh, whenever we go to Green Bay, it just doesn't seem to work out. And as far as long as Tennessee doesn't have any drawbacks, which I don't think they will, I think um, you know they're a good team. I I, I see the Seahawks going uh, eleven and five. Um, and just let me just make sure here. So if I have us being the Colts there, yeah. So I mean, out of all of our primetime games, I only have us losing that one primetime game, which is Thursday night football against Arizona when we play Aaron Arizona. Cause there's only a four day rest between us playing the Redskins in Seattle and then having to travel to Arizona to play the Cardinals. Who, like I said, I, and I'm not the only one who thinks this. I'm sure a lot of people think the Cardinals are going to be a, a lot better this season. Everybody thought that last season, but you know, everyone, every team has those kind of years. I mean, you look at the Seahawks last season, they were seven, two and one at one point and the last six games, they finished with a three and three record. So biggest uh thing i'm hoping for this season when it comes to the seahawks is consistency consistency i know a lot of teams and even the seahawks they always kind of start off the season slow these last few seasons or not last few yeah last two seasons for the seahawks they've just kind of been weird and and like in 2015 they got hot towards you know the end of the season and they stayed hot but this past season as we were starting to get hot then we fell off again then we got hot. It, there was just a lot of like bumpy roads this past season i know a lot of it has to do with the fact that we just don't have the most consistent running game and stuff so Hopefully our running game can be uh, a lot more consistent this year, and uh, our offensive line is a lot more beefed up. I, I, it's not the best offensive uh, uh, line draft, 
but we did address some of those issues in free agency, and I think Justin Britt did a great job at center uh, this past season. I think he'll only get better from here on. I'm really excited because Jimmy Graham, who was still kind of, even though he played all 16 games last season, he was still kind of battling through the injury. He wasn't totally healed yet, and I think with this season, with Graham being totally healed, Tyler Lockett's going to be coming back, Earl Thomas is going to be coming back. I know Deshaun Shedd's probably not going to be back week one, but he'll be back. I just, I have a lot of high hopes for the season. I just, I have a really good feeling about this season. I, I really do. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you think about our schedule? What do you think about our bye week? What do you think, uh, what do you think our record's going to be? And if, whatever you think our record's going to be, whatever games you think we're going to lose or win, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'm excited and I want to hear some of your guys' thoughts and opinions. And anyway, that should do it for the video. I'm so excited. Whenever the schedule releases, it just means we're closer to football. Anyway, thank you for watching the video and go Hawks.